Today we're recovering an ottoman. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today I'm recovering an ottoman because my mom loved the chairs that I recovered. If you want to check that video out, you can click that eye in the sky, it'll take you to the day where I recovered those chairs. But now we're going to recover an ottoman and we're going to do it in a really, really simple way which involves no sewing. It's just a bunch of folding. It's just like the chairs, only in a much bigger scale. Let's get to this and I'll show you how I did it. It is so simple and so quick to do. All right, <laughs> this is my ottoman that I'm working on. It's huge. It is gigantic and I realize that. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I have my fabric laid over, laid down with the uh, the top side, it is down so I can see it. Handy dandy staple gun. I'm going to put one staple in the front center. Then pulling this somewhat tight, not ridiculously tight, but somewhat tight. One staple in the back center. This one we have to do sort of different because I can't seem to get off the, get the legs off. So I'm going to have to keep checking on this. Let's flip it up. That actually looks, oh, I'm over here. <laughs> that actually looks really good. So let's go ahead and staple this down. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut away the excess. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it and do the exact same thing up to the legs. Now you're wondering why I can't I didn't take the legs off? I can't take the legs off. For whatever reason, those screws do not want to come out. So let's turn it and do this. At the corners, I'm going to cut down so it's just about an inch over. There we go. So that, that way I can actually fold it since I can't take those legs off and staple. Now on the front corners, I'm just folding the material back. I'm going to put in a temporary staple and then cut this. Once that is cut, I'm just going to staple it down. Once everything is stapled down, go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay, I'm right here. Let me move this out of the way. It is all done. That is really kind of neat because it is a finished product. It did not take me very long. It just needed a better working space. Now, if you aren't trying to do a show where you try to do these sort of things, you'll have a better working space. But since I was doing this here in my kitchen set, I did this and it was no problem. No problem at all. You can do an even better job by taking more of your time using the correct fabric or using whatever you want. But these projects are so easy for you to do yourself, you don't have to go out and buy new or have somebody else redo it. If you do this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Now, if you like projects like this, but you'd like to see me do even bigger projects or more projects like this, don't forget to check out my Patreon because that would be a great way to support me and help me get to the point where I can do bigger projects that I don't necessarily need to do, but you would like to see me do. I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.